Alright, we got the same situation. Look how big, fat, and lumpy that is. Now, I'm only going to be able to use that, uh, the small egg, only on it partially. I will have to switch to the uh, finger burr on this one because I, I don't want to dig too much and too deep in that area. So, let's go ahead and let me try to position this where you can kind of get a bird's eye view of me here. And let's try to round that out some. Alright. Dad, blame it. There we go. Sorry, guys. You just have no idea how difficult this is sometimes. Uh, there's no way if I try to do that I'm gonna take a chance on uh, hurting the head So I'm gonna have to switch to the thin one right. Try to back off that light a little bit so you can see and I'm gonna come in here and Once again, I'm pulling to the guide. I'm not going against the port wall on this Let me get us a dip. Alright. same thing that you've seen. Now I'm going to take the big burr and let's move it to the side a little bit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in on the top and do just like I did on the intake side and get me a nice beautiful shaped bobtail on that exhaust. You know um, it would be interesting to know which one of them that really it made the most difference on because that exhaust coming right off that seat like that and then trying to come up through there hold on y'all see this look here do you see him in there that's a wasp that just now I'm gonna try to stir him a little holy cow <laughs> That is a wasp is up. Oh, I got him. I crushed him. Well, that's something I hadn't had happen in a long time. Maybe this head's going to have good luck. <coughs> All right. Anyway, let's back up a little bit and let's hit the top just like we did on the intake guide. Okay. And pull it in round. All right. You know what? I think that that's all that I'm going to chew on this. I'm a little bit more fanatical and a little bit more sensitive on in there on the exhaust. Alright, so I've developed the methodology. The first thing I'm going to do is take the finger and hit all the rest of the exhaust. Then come in with the, uh, the big one, hit the tops, and then use this one here to try to come in on the side. Because i really got to be careful on that because it's got all that heat in it. I'll tend to leave a little bit more even though it will look a little better. Let's see what we got. Yep, going back to my small bird.
All right, now I will have to go in there one final time. Hold on a minute. I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Sorry I got to do that to you, but I just, I can't hit the top area I'm wanting to get. Hold on. Okay, had that little bit of touch up. Let's go ahead and do that now on the wire. I tried real hard not to dig that ridge, and this is why. Just don't like doing it on the exhaust side. And see, it's what I'm talking about. That when you're coming in here and touching, it'll come up on the seat. It's not near as hard for me with this camera in the way, but anyway, I'm going to try to take that little bit of sharp edge out right there. Basically, you get the picture. I'll come in here and spend a few minutes. All right, now let's try to take a look straight on and see what we got. Wow. All right. Now that is much, much better. Okay. Now as you can see, we got that big old bulge out of the way, just like on the intakes. So I'll move the light around so you can see. See, look at that. Ain't that just a whole lot better? We got a lot more, once again, area here of air coming out and hugging the roof and here versus boom, hitting it solid and this big bulk in the way. And you can trim around some on the bottom right here, but as you get to the top, you don't want to thin it where you're going to lose. See, I still have quite a bit of material holding on to that guide right there. So pretty much... Um, that takes care of Bob telling the guides on both the intake and exhaust. Hated to go over that spark plug thing again, but from the left plug to the right plug, I didn't notice that there was quite a bit of difference. So you just got to look at the picture as a whole, and that's why you stay with doing the one mod on, on in my case, two pairs of heads. If I don't, I'm going to lose consistency. You want to be able... Uh, not that they would do it, but to swap one head from four, you grab one out of the box, it don't matter which one's what. So, alright, anyway, that concludes the bobtail. We're going to get on the exhaust next. We're going to scribe it and see what we got there, which this head has a really good short turn. So, um, that'll be the next thing we do is set up and scribe and get that dialed in before we go in here and polish the chambers and do the valve job. Alright.